Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to learn what are factors of algebraic expressions. So before that, let's revise what are factors and prime factors of a normal number, a whole number. So let's say we are given a number 30. We can find its factors that which are the numbers when multiplied together makes 30. So we can say 30 is 1 into 30. So 1 and 30 are factors of 30. We can say 30 is also 2 into 15 or 3 into 10 or 5 into 6. Right? So all these things 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30 are factors of 30. Right? That is 30 can be divided by any of these numbers. 30 divided by 2 also is possible. 30 divided by 15 is also possible and so forth. And what are prime factors? Prime factors are only those factors within these which are prime numbers. So in this 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30, 2, 3 and 5 are prime factors. So we can represent 30 also as a product of these numbers that is 2 into 3, 6 into 5. So 2 into 3 into 5 also makes 30. So the prime factors of 30 are 2, 3 and 5. right? And a number can be written as a product of its prime factor and then it's called as prime factor form. So this is just a revision of what are factors of a norm number and prime factors. Because the goal of this lesson is to know the factors of algebraic expression and before that we should know what are factors and prime factors. So we now know what are factors. Now let's also revise what is an algebraic expression which we might have learned in our previous lesson, but I'm just trying to revise here. So, so let's say we are given five pencils, one, two, three, four, five, and cost of each pencil is X rupees. We don't know the price right now. And we are given three pens and cost of each pen is Y rupees. So somebody says, what is the total cost if you have to buy five pencils with a cost of each pencil at as x rupees and 3 pens with a cost of each pen as y rupees the total cost would be 5 into x plus 3 into y 5 pencils each of x rupees so 5 into x this will be the cost of pencils and 3 pens and the cost of each pen is y so 3y is the cost of pen so total cost to buy this entire thing is 5x plus 3y Let's take another example of algebraic expression. Let's say there is a nice strawberry cake and the weight of each of these strawberry cake is a kg. Not one, not two, a variable cost, a kg, right? And number of cakes we have ordered for a big party are B number of cakes. Somebody says, what is the total number? Uh, what is the total weight of across all the cakes? We can find each cake's weight is a kg and to number of cakes are b so total weight of all the cakes would be a into b kilogram a into b kg or a b kg right one cake a number of cakes b so total weight of all the cakes would be a into b so these are certain some simple examples of algebraic expression having a constant and variables like a b x y p q all these are variables so now come to our original lesson which is factorization of algebraic expression. We understand what is factors when we understand algebraic expression. Now let's do factorization of algebraic expression starting with some simple terms of algebraic expression. Let's say we are given a term 10ab, right? So to find its fa factorization all we need to do is reduce this each thing, the, the constants to its factors and variables also. So what do we do? We know 10 can be represented as 2 into 5 and A as A and B as B. So the factorization of this term or this algebraic expression having only one term is 10 AB is equal to 2 into 5 into A into B. Right? We cannot reduce it further. This is called as irreducible factor now. 2, 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, so cannot be reduced further. A is on its own, B is on its own. So the product of 
constants and variables in this case a and b are variables and constants are 2 and 5 the product is coming at 10 a b so this is the factorization of this algebraic expression having only one term let's take another example here is another algebraic expression having a term which is 14a whole bracket b plus 3 so what do we do try to reduce 14a into its factor so 14 is 2 into 7 a is just a 2 into 7 into a remember putting children the brackets into b plus 3 so this entire thing a product of 2 into 7 which are constant into a which is a variable into b plus 3 which is another expression you can think about it's a product finally leading to 2 into 7 is 14 14 into a is 14 a into b plus 3 it's both are same so it's pretty simple all we need to do is break down each of these constant into its irreducible factor and same thing for the variables let's take one more example 5bc into 11a plus 1 so 5bc is simple 5 into b into c because 5 itself is a prime number right 5 into b into c into 11a plus 1 so this is the factorization of this expression where 5 into b it's a product of 5 b c and 11a plus 1 so all we need to do is we need to write an algebraic expression each term as product of its factors here I have taken only the examples of algebraic expression with one term in our further lessons we are going to learn about the factorization of an algebraic expression which are having multiple terms so here all we need to do is express it into product of its factor and each factor can be a constant like 5 or a variable like b or c or a or an expression itself like 11a plus 1 and when you use expression ensure that you are putting a bracket right so that's all in this lesson children bye bye